The aim of Street Angels York is to patrol the city of York on a night time, looking out for vulnerable people, people that might have been separated from friends, some people have got in a nightclub, some people haven't, looking for people who may be a little bit worse for wear, um, looking for people who have been caught unawares by illness and they just don't know what to do. So. Street Angels is made up of people, volunteers, who've come mainly from churches in York. Um, they're not just church people, but whoever wants to help, um, really of people who care. So um, Street Angels help anybody and everybody. Um, we might from giving out flip-flops to people who've had the high heels on all day and want a break from that, to somebody who might have got dehydrated who needs a bottle of water, um, people who are not sure where the hotel is, just anybody and everybody who might be vulnerable in the city centre. I like Street Angels because sometimes we just prevent ambulances having to be called if you can just stay with them and get them into a position where they can be um, got home. There's never usually a dull moment when you're a street angel. Um, you meet lots of people as you walk around the city, lots of people in different situations, lots of people in, who are in the city for different reasons. And so it's really uh, exciting to come alongside those people, to meet them, to have interesting conversations, and then to help if you're needed in other situations. We meet here at the base about 9.30, fill the bags, have some prayer time, check everybody's okay, what the week's been, and then we head out into town. We head wherever we're called. Maybe the um, door staff will call us somewhere, or CCTV might see something on the cameras that's a bit strange, so we kind of walk down and follow them and find out what's going on. I'm a street angel because I'm a Christian, and I believe that being able to help people in a practical way is a really great way of demonstrating God's love for them. Jesus wants us to be his hands and feet on the streets, and what better way to do that than to actually walk the streets and pray as you go in and look for signs of people who you can help. Oh, being a street angel is really good fun. Um, you work with different teams every time you go out, um, you have a laugh, and you get a great sense of worth when you go home and know that other people have been able to get home safely because you found them somewhere and managed to get them to a taxi rank or you found them somewhere, managed to charge their phone up and get them in contact with their friends. So it, it just is a wonderful way of, of helping people stay safe in the city. Literally save people sometimes, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. Strangers are a good thing simply because they, from a, from a, a police perspective, um, they're taking a lot of workload away from us when we could actually be better utilised, better deployed. Um, now one particular, one particular young lady had a little bit too much to drink unfortunately um, and her friends that were with her were also just a little bit too intoxicated to look after her. Now if the street angels weren't on that night that meant that we would have had to sit with her, uh, wait for an ambulance to come. But because the street angels were on, we managed to communicate with them because we've all got radios where we can speak to each other. Um, police, street angels and door staff, we can all speak to each other if we need to. So we called first street angels assistants who came over very promptly and, uh, and took over uh, looking after the young lady. Street angels, without a doubt, is um, a fantastic thing to get involved with. It's an opportunity for uh, volunteers, for people who want to volunteer the time, which I have utter admiration for anyway. Um, if you want to volunteer your time, you can't really do better than coming in, um, safeguarding people. Just go on the website, you can come and shadow and see if walking around the city on a night time is for you. I didn't think it was for me, I go to bed at 9 o'clock with a cup of tea usually, went out shadowing with street angels and I couldn't go to sleep when I got home because your adrenaline goes because it's just so much fun. Street angels really do need volunteers. We need feet on the streets to do the work that we're meant to do out there. So we take men and women, any age group, so long as you're 18 or over, and we do have volunteers up to and including in the 70s. And so long as you're fit and active, then it may be something that you could do. So if that's something that you feel drawn to, then find out more about us, go to the website and get in touch.